Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will investigate polar stereographic charge properties. We will first examine the basis of polar stereographic projection. Next, we will examine five polar stereographic properties. And lastly, we will look at the summary of polar stereographic projection properties. Section 1. Basis of Polar Stereographic Projection Polar stereographic charts is produced using azimuthal projection. A light source is placed at the pole of the reduced earth. Paper is placed on the opposite pole. When the light is turned on, the shadow is cast on the paper. The shadow is then traced to produce a chart. In our example, we produce a Southern Hemisphere chart. To produce a Northern Hemisphere chart, the light source needs to be placed at the South Pole and the paper touches the reduced Earth at the North Pole. The paper touches the reduced Earth at the Pole. On other type of projection, the place where the paper touches the reduced Earth is called Parallel of tangency or parallel of origin. Since on azimuthal projection, the paper touches the reduced earth at a single point. This point is called the point of tangency. However, it is not wrong to call this point parallel of tangency or parallel of origin. Dash line simulate the light path of azimuthal projection. As you can see, the green light path hit the reduced earth and the paper simultaneously, thus making the scale correct at the pole. Other light paths require more time to hit the paper. As we had learned in the previous video, the scale on the chart is proportional to the time taken for the light to travel from the reduced earth surface to the paper. Based on the diagram, since the chart emanates from a single point and expands outward, the scale expands at a constant rate in all directions. The meridian are straight line originating from the pole, parallel are concentric circle centered at the pole. All parallels and meridian intersect at the right angle. Since the scale expands at constant rate and all parallel and meridian intersect at the right angle, azimuthal projection is conformal. No mathematical adjustment is required to fit the chart, thus making polar stereographic chart a true perspective projection. Section 2. Polar Stereographic Charts Properties the list of properties that we will investigate are as follow scale graticule chart conversion drum line and grid circle scale based on the light path simulation in the diagram on the left for polar stereographic charts scale is correct at the pole where the paper touches the reduced earth. Elsewhere, the scale expands. The expansion factor is second square half co latitude. The learning objective does not require you to memorize the expansion factor of polar stereographic projection. Graticule. Meridian are straight lines originating from the pole. Parallels of latitude are arcs of circle centered at the pole. Chart convergence. 
since the meridian on the polar stereographic chart are straight lines, like Lambert conformal chart, the chart conversion of the polar stereographic chart is constant throughout the chart. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. To understand polar stereographic chart conversion, we need to revisit simple conic projection. In my previous video titled Lambert Conformal Chart Properties, we learned that the angle of cone is twice the value of parallel of origin. On the screen is the front view cutout diagram of simple conic projection with latitude 45 degrees north as the parallel of origin. Since the parallel of origin is 45 degrees, the angle of cone must be 90 degrees. If we want the parallel of origin to be 90 degrees, the angle of cone need to be 180 degrees. As you can see, the diagram is now similar to the polar stereographic projection. Thus, we can conclude that polar stereographic or azimuthal projection is a variation of conical projection. Chart convergence formula for conic projection is chart convergence equals change of longitude multiplied by sine parallel of origin. Since we had established that polar stereographic projection is a variation of conical projection, we can use this formula for polar stereographic projection. Polar stereographic chart convergence equals to change of longitude multiplied by sine point of tangency. The point of tangency is 90 degrees. Sine 90 degrees is 1. Polar stereographic chart conversion is equal to change of longitude. Rum line and grid circle. In the diagram on the screen, a straight line, a grid circle, and a rum line have been drawn between the prime meridian and 0, 090 0 degree east longitude at two different latitudes 50 degree north and 70 degree north the straight line represents the line that we draw during the flight planning process as we have learned before the distance between two points is greater if we travel via a rum line track than the grid circle track therefore a rum line track must have greater curvature compared to a grid circle track. Rum lines are concave to the pole. The grid circle is concave to parallel of origin. Coincidentally, on the polar stereographic chart, the parallel of origin is the pole. That is why both rum line and grid circle curve concave to the pole. As you may have noticed, the grid circle at 70 degree north is closer to the straight line than the grid circle at 50 degree north. Since polar stereographic charts are usually used for navigation near the polar region, a straight line on a polar stereographic chart can be considered as a grid circle track for general navigation purposes. Section 3. Summary of Polar Stereographic Properties Summary of Polar Stereographic Projection Properties are as follow. Scale, correct at the pole and expense elsewhere. Graticule, meridian, a straight line originating from the pole. Parallel, a concentric circle centered at the pole. Chart conversion is equal to change of longitude. Rum line is a curve 
concave to the pole. Great circle is a curve concave to the parallel of origin. On the screen is the summary of Mercator's Lambert's conformal and polar stereographic properties. You can download the PDF copy of this table by using the link in the description. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need additional help in your exam preparation, consider joining Answering ATPL membership. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following video.